Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you for being here. My name is Kyle Bethune. I'm with Red, White, and Bethune. And this is my little cooking show that we do every Tuesday evening. Um, I am a very untrained amateur cook, very average, mediocre amateur cook at best. Um, so if you're tuning in for the first time, thank you for so much for being here. Eli, can you see Eli? Oh, Eli, you got to get your head down. <laughs> like right from the camera. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here so much. My, my, my regulars, awesome. Thanks for being here. Happy Thanksgiving week for everybody coming in. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I, um, I, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're actually not do spoiler alert. We're actually not doing a Thanksgiving dish this evening. Uh, one, I ran out of time. Two, I figured you guys would be getting enough Thanksgiving stuff coming up, so I didn't want to do it again. I, we're we're cool. We're breaking out a go-to for us bowls. I know I've done these before. I've probably done it on the live before, uh, but I want to break it down a little different. I'm going to make my own rice. I'm going to do things a little differently. We're actually going to do a steak bowl. So we got some meat here, but yeah, we have a live studio audience tonight. We've got Jen Manning the uh, the uh, studio. Hi, everybody. We got Jen Sandy from Wonderful. Oh Rose. shoot! Well, and well, your she's, now daughter. she's fired. No more, Jen. We're, we're there we her. go. And your beautiful daughter. We have Jen and Sandy from Wonderful Revolution. Molly from Molly's Travel and Fun, and Eli. <laughs> oh, well, there goes. And Eli. <laughs> okay, but anyway, guys, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to, um, you know, like everything I do, I kind of have to plan it out. Because, well, again, I have two burgers. i um, going to be using my rice cooker. Rice is going to take the longest, so we're going to go ahead and get that started to get going. Um, we're doing a cilantro lime rice. Um, going to be using some jasmine rice. I personally just really like jasmine rice, and I like cooking it, and I like consuming it. So we're going to go with that. Um, let's jump right in. Sorry, I messed yeah, up on something. Won't. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. We're good. We're good. Save. Oh, show. All right. We're fine. We're fine. We're there. What you pulling out of there, buddy? Yeah, we're going to, like I said, we're going to start with cilantro lime rice. You know, again, this is one of those things um, you can, if you're not a big cilantro person, obviously you don't even have to add the cilantro, but you can add as little or as much as you like. We're going to add this amount. That amount is like how much do you think? Do we have comments or anything? Oh yeah, we what, do. Like, Monique says happy Thanksgiving to everyone. This is your show. I don't want to step on your toes. So you're you're the director, the star, you know, all the things. So pretty much I'm, I'm, I'm holding I'm keeping it up. Yeah. Yeah. Monique says happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Yeah, you too, Monique. Yeah, let me know where you guys are spending Thanksgiving this year. Like what are where are you going? Are you staying home? Are you traveling? You're gonna be out there in the madness on the roads. What what are you guys doing? Uh, Wonderful Revolution says hello, everybody. So, in the hello. house. Whoop, whoop. Stephen Hare, which is RBC Travel, says happy Thanksgiving. Hope everyone has a wonderful turkey day. Absolutely. I am definitely looking forward to it. Probably my favorite holiday. I'm pretty sure I've said that on more than one occasion. I love me some turkey day. I love the leftovers, as you guys heard, if you were here last week. So pretty excited. Uh, I don't have a lot of prep this year. I'm doing most. I'm doing all sides, so mo I really don't have a ton of work to do before uh, Thursday. So, got it. I did all my shopping yesterday at Publix. That way, I could beat some of the crowd, but there was still plenty of people there. So, Debbie T says Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Kimberly in Connecticut says Hi, y'all. Hey, Kim, how you doing? Lorna McKenzie says Hi, Jed and Sandy. Hello. Hi, Lorna. Uh, Jen Bethune, which is says, "Hey everyone, it's Molly." So Molly's on the chat tonight, you guys. Deborah McDermott says, "Hi everyone." Actually, want a little more salute. Uh, Kimberly in Connecticut says, first question: Are you going to charge extra for guac?" Ha, you know, I, I, uh, that's a good question. I mean, we had this conversation last we night. We did. I'm so sad. I feel like I just <laughs> had this conversation with someone. Um. Over amazing sushi or oh after the amazing gosh, sushi. Oh my gosh, guys, we had some killer sushi. And me and Jen have been on a major sushi kick here lately. So you've probably heard us talk about it quite a bit. 
I, I'm a guy probably two years ago who never who would not touch sushi with a ten foot pole. Now I can't get enough of this stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some more cilantro. I, I, I want I'm making a I'm probably gonna make three cups of rice, so I'm gonna need quite a bit to get the get any flavor in it. Uh, Vaughn needed Dusty L. Green says, hello, Kyle and Jen. I'll be watching, but on my TV, so can't chat. I am watching. Much love. Oh, that's okay. At least you're here. Today we go says, hey, wonderful. Are y'all coming to Bethune Docking? Oh. Hey. I'm still guessing the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty oh. says, happy Thanksgiving. I think we still have a couple spots available, don't we, babe? I'm we gonna... do. Okay, so... If you guys are interested, go ahead and get – I would definitely get signed up. Um, I think we're going to be running the ticket sales until the middle of December, but please don't wait. Like I said, we just have a few spots left. We were actually – or we weren't actually. I was trying to convince Kyle that we should do, like, one ticket to rent out the van for the weekend so those people that don't have a camper could come stay in the van and rent it, but – You'll have to convince the chef up there to let that happen. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to, like I said, I think I'm going to do three cups of rice. Uh, again, if you don't own a rice maker, please go buy a rice maker. It's such a simple way to make excellent rice every single time. Three cups of rice, three cups of water. But first, we wash. All right, you're good. Well, hello. Um, Eli actually unplugged our router, so we lost service temporarily, as you already know. I don't have to tell you that. But anyway, I just washed my rice. Didn't miss much. Wash my rice. I'm going to have my three cups of water. There we go. All right, we're back, you guys. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and add our lime element. Um, again, how limey do you like your rice? So we're going to do, let's see, I think we'll do a tablespoon. Go with that. And OTB is here, said salsa is too spicy. The GoPro overheated. <laughs> that would not surprise me. So, and then we're going to, of course, add in our cilantro. Nice. Go ahead. Do a little mix. The cooker, once it, you know, because it's going to boil it, and it's, you know, so it's going to mix pretty well once you do it. And once you fluff it up, it'll be nice. Go ahead and throw it in there. That's simple, guys. Throw it on. Put it on cook again. Yep. Yeah, is it going to work? Is it going to work? I need a new rice maker. Oh, Tom is letting us know. Tom, we met him at the Tiny House Festival this weekend. Yeah, we, had a, we went to a Tiny House Festival this weekend. Had a great time. Met some wonderful subscribers. So if you were there and you're watching, please let us know. We really enjoyed meeting you guys. It was a really good time. We uh, won Best Bus out of the group, which was a real big honor. There were some awesome buses there. Absolutely. Molly. Thank you. Woo! Thank you very much. Um, 
but we had an amazing time. It was a really good time. If you did go and you did get to, you know, you did meet us, thank you for stopping by. It really means a lot to us um, to take time out of your day to come say hi. It was really, it was really awesome. Thank you so much. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. All right, right. so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going here, guys. Now we're gonna make some guac. I don't remember if I've ever made my guac on uh, a live stream before, but I usually do three avocados. This is a pretty good serving size for me and my family. Um, it, it's kind of a I really, there's only a certain ripeness I like mine. I don't like them too mushy, and they've got to be ripe enough. But these are actually pretty good. I'm pretty excited about these. Woo! Nursing our travel box says, rock on. Gonna grab our food. We'll keep you on low. Low and slow. Sean B, hello. Sean, how are you this evening? Oh, Gills on Wheels. Patty and Shane are here in the house. Wahoo, in they the say. House. Tom says, love touring the bus. Award well deserved. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I love, we love showing it off. We love talking to everybody about, you know, whatever, Nomad Life or whatever it is they're doing. We just enjoy it. I mean, it kind of, it's always neat to put a, you know, a, a face to a name and to meet a subscriber because you, you see them, you see the comments, you see all that, but to actually see them in person, it's, it's a pretty cool experience. Be, be thirsty Heather says, I'm catching up at 1.5 speed, LOL. That chopping looks dangerous at fast speed. <laughs> I'm just that fast. You are that fast. Mm -hmm. Eddie, T oh, Eddie T says, thumbs up, everyone. <laughs> OMG, Molly. Not that. Oh, there we go. All right, so I don't have one of those <laughs> one of those fancy dancy avocado spoon, scoop and tools. So I just use my handy dandy spoon here. I stick it in the back. I push forward, and uh, <laughs> oh my god! And it, it just scoop it right out. It's like a big one, big old scoop, one big motion. <clears throat> also, be careful. Make sure your pits aren't in there or your stem, because those. Yep. See, look at that. Got a rogue stem here. Raising my hands, trying not to laugh so scared. Anyway, uh, Tom says, side note, I would totally buy a shirt that said, Welcome to the shit show. <laughs> we got many comments on our uh, sign this weekend. So many people yeah. can relate, you know. I, I I guess they can feel us a little bit with that. So yeah, I got my avocados in there, nice and pretty. Oh, do I see another stem? No, I don't. All right, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna do my sea salt, of course. I probably should have got this out before. That's all right. They like watching you uh, in the in the cabinet. Today we go because I knew you couldn't hold it in. We all knew that. We we knew it was coming. The laugh. The laugh. Okay, I was waiting. All right. Again, I use lime juice. I like my uh, my uh, guacamole a little limey, but again, you don't have to add it. But I would add it. You don't have to, but you would. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but you know, you can add just a little bit. But I, I just think it gives it a really good flavor. We do like flavor, just not heat, you know. Yeah, that. Yeah, so I mean, I would love to dice up some jalapenos and put in here, but black pepper's hot to them, so I even got to be careful with that. But black pepper, keep it really simple, guys. I'm using a garlic salt. You can obviously use a garlic and salt, separate garlic powder and regular salt. But I like this stuff here. This Lowry's brand makes a really good garlic salt. With guacamole, start out light on the seasoning because you can always add but it's it's very easy to over season guacamole because it's not a very um avocados themselves don't have a lot of flavor and they kind of they just absorb whatever it is you put in them so kind of start slow with that especially stuff like cumin because it has a very strong presence in pretty much anything you cook with let's go with that i use my tater masher to start with i just mash them up real nice I use my tater masher to batter. Tater masher? Well, I don't have a avocado masher, so what do you do? <laughs> We're working on our new um, production assistant over here, Molly. She's trying to put the signs out there. So let us know if you like the, the signs coming up. We thought oh, it was a cute addition. And I did add some dried uh, uh, cilantro. Mm -hmm. I would use, if you had fresh, I would use fresh, but I think I, yeah, I had a little bit of fresh. Left, but... I don't like to pulverize mine either. I mean, you, sometimes you get in, it's almost like it's um, 
yeah, it's pasty. I like mine to have a little bit of the chunks in it, not too much, but I don't like it over pulverized. So I do this. Nice consistency. Smells right. Bonita says, I make mine hot, but I am the only one that eats it. Yeah, I like I said, if it was me, just me, I would make mine a little warm. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know that I'm even gonna mess with it. I think that's a you wanna taste it, babe? Yeah, I do. I want to taste it. All right, let's let's try this guacamole while he's getting the other stuff ready. All right, so my rice is gone. That takes about this thing typically takes about 25 minutes. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get start preparing our steak. They call it fajita meat, but technically I like to use skirt steak. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. She was trying to explain to me why they call it fajita meat, but it's still skirt steak. If you can use skirt steak, it typically is pretty good for this type of cooking. So I'm an idiot. I completely forgot an ingredient in this. Wow, I'm I'm really killing it here. I forgot onion. Wait, it was really tasty, actually. Yeah. I don't add a lot of onion. That's one reason I, because I love onion, but it's again, it's another one that's very, it could be very overwhelming if you overdo it. <clears throat> so we're just gonna add a little, or we're just gonna add a little bit. Um, Heather says lemon or lime juice also helps your avocado from turning brown so quickly. There you go. Yeah, that's the thing about guacamole. Because, I, you know, it's not one of them things I make it to store because it does not age well. It does not. It's very perishable. So I, typically I only make enough for that serving and then just move on, you know, make it every day. You know, because you, you can't beat it fresh either. So I try to do my onions pretty diced, pretty fine in these because, I don't know, I don't, I don't, when I think of guacamole, I don't think of big chunks of onions. So I don't want to, I don't want them in mine either. I try to get them down pretty fine. Squirrel Girl says, I lurk and love all of your videos. You're such a positive family. Love the cooking show, and Molly's signs are a nice touch. <laughs> that looks pretty good there. We're just going to add a little bit. Like I say, I don't want to overdo it with the with the onion. Uh, Ashley Lee says, hey. Hey. Heather says, California has beautiful, tasty avocados. And Tom Fibb says, Kyle, have you always had a passion for cooking? I have not. I, I couldn't. I couldn't cook an egg whenever I got married. Um, I never really was interested in it. I just ate whatever was in front of me, and that was that. Was that. Um, and Jen wasn't a cooker either, so I guess one of us kind of had to make the leap to decide we were going to eat. One of us had to cook. So I gave it a good try yeah, for a little bit there. A good college try, but I'm gonna go ahead and shell it. I'm gonna firm it up a little bit. All right. I don't want to toss. Ashley Lee said, had to sub to Jen Bethune. <laughs> I don't even think I have any videos on there. Um, yeah, you do. You have makeup videos. That's photogenic. That's not uh, That's not Jen Bethune. I don't need this. Either. Ashley Lee says, always good to see my fave family. All right. Again, fajita steak, skirt steak. That's what we're going with. I will sometimes marinate my steak. I, I haven't come up with a marinade that I love yet. I typically just do it a dry um go at it big key to your steak when you're doing this type of cooking or when you're cooking it on like i'm make sure it's nice and dry so i'm gonna go ahead and pat it dry see i did this isn't what i wanted but this is what i got we're gonna go with it yeah the lady wasn't really sure yeah i mean i said skirt steak and she said oh yeah sure i got that and then she walked back and brought me this she said well this is what we got so this is what we got and it's gonna be great i mean it's it's a same it's the same kind of cut i just i don't know it's not typically what i buy we're going to go with it. Like I said, I like to pat it dry before I season it. Because if you, if you, if you like, especially if you're um, marinating in some type of liquid, you definitely want to dry it before you sear it because what, basically at that point, you're just going to steam it. So you want to sear it. You want to get a nice char on it. So if you don't dry it and you don't get it nice and dry, it will not char very well. So we're going to do that. Caitlin B says, Eli, so adorable. You can say hi. Josh McGregor says, Mississippi roast, loaded taters, and seasoned broccoli here. Weather Ooh. is finally back up to the 40s during the day. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. The yeah. van cool. You too. Yeah, my mom makes the Mississippi roast. It's pretty good. Is that the one with the pepperoncinis and the, the gravy? And the, Yeah, that, that's good stuff. Mm. Yeah, that, that's good stuff. Sounds good. Um, what am I doing? I'm going to get my do adobo out. Where's my adobo? Where's my adobo? Somewhere. Debbie T says, I'm waiting for Eddie to make the cooking leap. <laughs> Uh, Ashley Lee says, I'd never thought I'd be watching Kyle pat his meat. Oh, hey. Molly, <laughs> wow, you're, you're sleeping on the job over there. Uh, this is now. Uh, ha, ha. 
Uh, I use adobo. I'm going to go with some adobo. I'm going to go with some black pepper. Nice. Sounds good. Garlic. Ashley said, Eli's looking like his mama. Aw, you're so cute, Eli. Yeah, he definitely looks like his mama, that's for sure. Josh McGregor says yes with his hands raised. Yeah, about the Mississippi roast. That's good. It's, that's a really flavorful roast. I haven't, I've yet to try to make it, but I would like to try at some point. Yeah. Ooh, Jarhead and Ginger's Journey said we had gumbo last night and dumped in the rice to the leftovers for jambalaya tonight. Oh, God, now you're speaking my language. We were just talking about Creole food. And how I would it. cook it a lot if my family could do heat. Um, I, I love Cajun cooking. Hey, Swenson is putting some hearts up there for us. One crazy Canadian couple says, hey, from Ontario, Canada. Hey, yeah. hey don't you know? Oh. You betcha. <laughs> Again, I'm, you betcha. I'm doing adobo, black pepper, and garlic. I'm keeping it simple. I, you know, with, with beef, I don't want to overwhelm it with seasoning because I, I just, I like the natural taste of beef. So I don't want to overdo it. I just want to, you know, add to it. Um, using my flat top, you got you got the cooking view over that, here. That cooking view is ready to go. So it looks like I'm going to be cooking this in batches because I didn't realize that, that I don't know. I did not. That's not what I expected to do. Well, you know that happens. Let's get that going. Ashley Lee says Ben looks more like Kyle to me than all the other kiddos and Jen's mini me's. Take the trusty uh, smoke detector down because we will set her off cooking beef. <laughs> She does get a little testy. Who's that? The smoke detector. Yeah, I mean, we there's no doubt it works. Because anytime we make a meal on the cooktop, it lets us know. M. Har Yar says, Chef Boy R. Kyle. Yeah. Chef Boy. Yeah, see, I, I, I didn't want... I didn't know they sliced it that thinly. I mean, like, that is, like, next to nothing. I mean, they left a lot of fat on it, too. Chef. <laughs> Chef. Ashley says, well, Molly is really a mix, but more Jen, I-M-O. She's pretty cute. One crazy, one crazy Canadian, I was combining it. One crazy Canadian couple says, how's it going, eh? <laughs> I forgot to add my cumin. Sorry, guys. I am definitely you cumin. love cumin. I mean, it's a, it, to me, it is you know mexican cooking i don't know it just it's a flavor i just yeah i gotta have it cat h says hello rwb hello cat ah. tammy k says hello everyone so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cook in batches as thin as this is probably a, a minute or less flip minute or less pull it we'll go to the next one Tom says, what piece of kitchen equipment do you find you use the most for day-to-day -day meal prep? Um, I mean, our cooktop. I mean, we, like I say, I'm able to, I bought this griddle thing here that you can use to double burner here to cook. We cook a lot of types, a lot of stuff on that. And then any type of, uh, you know, and then obviously cooking in pots and pans, you know, it's just, it's just real convenient. We're able to make pretty much anything you want. We also use our air fryer, convection, baking, toaster oven a lot also. So. With those two, we do the vast majority of our cooking. I haven't broke out the Instapot in I don't know how long. So, long time. Yeah, it's been a while. Since summer soup. Want of Revolution says, don't forget to show some love and make that like button sizzle like Kyle's doing Ooh. with those steaks right now. Nice and hot. So I'm using avocado oil because we're definitely trying to cook with some high heat here. Why do you cook with avocado oil? Oh, it has a high smoke point. Um, Olive oil does not, but typically when you're cooking, you're trying to cook hot, you know, definitely a high temp, you want to use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, that sort of thing. Those look amazing. It smells pretty tasty, I won't lie. So, I want to be quick, I'm going to come over here, do the same thing with these, throw them on, pat them dry, and season them up because they will be ready, like I said, in just a couple minutes. Venturesome couple says hello, red, white, and Bethune. Hey. Hey, hey, guys. Cat H says dinner's done. Nice. Heather says, what area the kids' favorite thing dad cook, or what are the kids' favorite thing that dad cooks? I don't know. I guess I don't have to answer Molly. that. Molly. Steak. Steak. Huh. What's your favorite thing that daddy cooks? You can stand up and tell him on the camera. Steak bowls, too. 
He likes chili a lot. I know he's a big he's a big chili fan. He's a very big and Doritos. Oh yeah, he likes bull. Um, it's okay. You can think about it and then tell us in a little bit, okay? Um, this Roman. Ashley said, "I bet you guys are loving the extra kitchen space. I live in an apartment with about the same amount of space. I'd rather live bus life." Well, it, you get used to it. You you adapt and you kind of learn. You you base your cooking style on your situation. You know, you kind of you kind of learn to uh, deal with what you got and make it work. What's your favorite, Eli? Um, pizza. Pizza. Pizza is pretty good. I don't know if Daddy's made pizza yet, but you can make it in the air fryer. Yeah, that's a good char on that one. Ooh. 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 That is some Ooh. sexy steak. Uh, Kate Swenson said, I would give my left arm for some Creole catfish. Ooh. Lorna McKenzie saying hello to Tammy. Ashley says, I have a single mama, so bus, li bus life would be so good for us, too. LOL. Now, there was a couple of single moms at the uh, show this weekend. Um, Ashley also says, I love the kitchen, too. The whole bus looks so good. How are the kids liking the change? Well, they love their bus, that's for sure. Can we, can we be able to get this on, baby? I sure can. Is that in or is it going in or it's out? It's going out. Okay. Supposedly. Maybe. We'll see if it starts sucking. I mean, it just comes out, okay? I'm sorry. Again, it's like I just, just, just going to shut up. It's like everywhere. <laughs> Ashley says, give the like button a little pat like Kyle did to his knee. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Hello, wow. Dusty says, hello, Ben, Molly, and Eli. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Hello. You too. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. Venture some couples says, I bet it smells amazing in there. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I smell nothing. Heather says, yum, Eli, I am with you on the pizza. I would like to get a pizza. They make them now. They're really affordable. The Oba, uh, Omni, I can't remember the brand, but they make these little pizza ovens that are really cool. Like, you can stick around with it. Uh, Coco Chanel says, yes, eating out is so expensive. Eating at home is much cheaper and more delicious. We, I mean, we eat out our share, as you guys know. There's no doubt about that. Um, but I, I'm with you. I kind of prefer cooking if I can. But stuff like sushi, like we had last night, I, I don't know how to make sushi, so we got to go get that. Coco Chanel says, how do you keep the food smells from being trapped in the bus? Well, I mean, we've got our fan here. These these snacks there pull out some uh, some good, some, uh, you know, odor, smoke, whatever you may have. I do have this thing on this little, uh, what do you call it, hood. Yeah, yeah it doesn't fan. do much, but, um, it, you know, it's better than nothing, I guess. These look pretty good. Pop them over. On to the next step. Those smell very sexy, honey. Sexy. Listen to that sizzle. Sexy and I tow it. I'm sexy and I tow it. Uh, 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 uh. I get it. All right, I get break up. Mom, you're doing great over here. She's not sleeping on the job. Is no, she? she's doing good. Well, not me. You're doing great, too, Eli. All right, Ashley Lee says, I love the bunks, too. They're so cool. Definitely something the kids should be proud of. Yeah, I mean, I I would have loved that as a child. That would have been pretty sweet. Uh, Ashley also says, my son turns four on November 30th, and his favorite food is also pizza. Oh, that's cool. Sarah Harold here. She has woke up from a nap, and OMG, I wish I could eat with you. LOL, looks yummy. So, again, I'm doing adobo, black pepper, garlic powder, cumin doing both sides of the meat i actually did not pat this dry so once i get the seasoning on it i will pat this dry because i preach to you guys about patting your meat so uh definitely get them to do that. i mean i'm really glad you taught us all to pat our meat you know <laughs> I, I, when you have much experience as i do at patting your meat you know it's just comes to second meat. nature so. uh, eddie t says hello molly hello go ahead pat her dry Will the seasoning come off? No, it usually won't. I mean, it kind of, it's kind of sticks to it. And you may, I mean, obviously you're going to get a little bit, but it's I'll still, it should be fine. Heather says, well, good golly, Miss Molly, doing great with the sign. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> a little delayed. I can't even see it. <laughs> I mean, we're applauding your meat, honey. That's it. And you're able to my, handle my it. My cottage over here. Yeah, the way you handle your meat. I mean, we all love it. Always pat your meat. Uh, Michelle, I love Chipotle. Enjoy. Yeah, me too. That's my favorite restaurant, guys. Don, I'm, who's I'm coming to Bethune Docking, says, I love your cooking live streams. I love seeing how others cook on the road. Yeah, I mean, me too. It's a, you know, it's it's something you don't really think about until you're out here and you actually have to do it. Um, you know, and of course, in the van, it's a whole other game too. So, I've got a pretty sweet setup going on now in the bus, but yeah, this rice looks pretty good. Oh yeah. It really, these rice cookers just make it so easy. Ashley said, she reminds me of myself when I was that age, and I adore her confidence. A little more line. Why not? All right, I turned it off cook. Well, I'm going to turn it off cook. i leave it on. It's, it, it will stay warm, so we'll let it on there for a few minutes. Karen Mars said, looks so good. I wish I was having what you're having. I was lazy, made English muffin pizza tonight, LOL. Hey, those still sound good. Ooh, English muffin pizza. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Move back. All right. That, it does smell amazing in here. It does smell like that. I wasn't really, I wasn't banking on having to cook these in batches, but here we are. That's right. We get to see you handle your meat a lot more. You know, maybe <laughs> I think, I think there's platforms designed just for that very thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got an OnlyFans account the other day. Guess what? They have nothing on like Max Air fans or like Fantastic fans. <laughs> Not RV friendly at all. <laughs> Molly, you're missing it. You missed it. Cat H says, Fat, I can't make Bethune docking. I need a road trip. We want you to come too, Cat. And we want to do more. I mean, we, we want to, at some point, we would like to do more and more places. And, and that is the plan. Um, but like everything else, it's, you know, we got to get there. We're working that way. Connie Gaffney says, I'm from New Orleans, but that looks so good. Try and come down here oh. with our food. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't have to pull my arm or whatever. That is your allons manger. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing my Cajun food tours apron as usual. Miss Marie's Food Tour. If you have never been there and you are in Lafayette, Louisiana, it is a must-do. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, Kimberly in Connecticut says, where are the pups this evening? Mine will be staring at the food. Well, when we cook, we typically, they get some kennel time. Well, one, for we need a break, and two, they need a break, and three, they'll get the food if we don't put them out. So we, they usually spend a little bit in there while we have dinner, and then we let them out for the night, and we take them out for the Lainey says Italian bread pizza here and homemade cupcakes. I'll trade for one of those bowls. Love y'all. We will trade that too. If we could just teleport one there, that'd be great. All right. I think it's, I've got a little bit left. I think it's going to be all on my way. There's plenty of people. Ashley Lee said you could start an OnlyFans account and smack the meat. Low key, people would enjoy it just for the laugh. LMAO. <laughs> Don't hit me, Ashley. <laughs> you could talk. You could say it's beating your meat. You could have like a cleaver or a uh, what is that? Pounder? What are those things? Like a tenderizer. hammer? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, tenderizer. You can tell I, I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, a lot. she's a kitchen queen. Um, Carol Sue Montgomery says you still have not been to see us in West Texas, Marfa. Marfa? Te oh yeah, I need to get to Marfa. We wanted to go to yeah, Marfa. I want to go to Big Ben really bad. Not right there. Uh, Lainey says we're in Tampa. Y'all are always welcome. Lainey's one that she has the cupcakes and the homemade Italian bread oh, pizzas. Nice. Michelle McCarthy says, hey, Michelle dropped off your cute little mini oh, yeah. Thank day. you, Michelle. That was so sweet. Thank you for thinking of me. I know oh, Molly, right Molly came in and um, right so she showed us. She's like, Michelle just brought these by. Hey. There we go. Oh, 
There we go. The Bob Ross, happy little trees. How cute are those things? Thank you, Michelle. You're awesome. Uh, Heather said, I'm half tempted to lick my phone. Looking so delish. All right, I'm going to pull my meat off. <laughs> Is your meat hot? Then I'm going to stuff it back in here. We're going to go ahead and put our last batch on. Oh, yeah. oh we have oh, another there's... batch? Yeah, I told you it's like it's cut like. That lunch. is a lot of meat to it's be cut, handling. It's cut like lunch meat. Ooh, man! All right, now I can move on. From your meat, I mean, you like you like the meat. Don Rymel says, "Have you thought about a bassoon docking Alaska edition when you go to Alaska?" <laughs> Maybe I don't. I don't know if we have any Alaska subscribers. Maybe. Just everybody's just gonna go to Alaska. That would be quite the trek to come to bassoon docking. That'd be cool though. <laughs> Uh, Ashley says, I love my happy little trees, too, LMAO. Oh, Molly wanted to ask everyone, how do you like your steak? So, regularly, this is just kind of well done-ish, right? Or just um, done? I'm going to be more of like a medium, medium well gotcha. um, for this type of cooking. Um, so, let us know in the comments, how do you like your steak? Me, personally, I don't like anything above medium rare. So I'm pretty good. Yeah, I, mean, like I like this, medium like rare. Piece. Molly likes medium rare. Sandy, what steak do you like? The only bite we get that Medium one. well. <laughs> medium <laughs> oh well. Oh my gosh. It's done. I know. <laughs> Jed's, well, I mean, Jed's, Jed's, <laughs> Jed's a medium rare. Like a rare guy, too. Yeah, medium rare. Eli, how do you like your steak? There's well done. Well. You just want to eat it? You don't care? I have yeah. steak. Yeah, you're not a big steak fan. It's not a big meteor. It never yeah. has been. Um, let's see. Yeah. Kimberly says, my nephew lives in Alaska. He's in the Air Force. So I'm going to go ahead and do my romaine. Another kitchen gadget I want you to buy if you don't already have one or if you maybe don't need to buy it. But I love it. It's a salad spinner. Wash your lettuce. Yes, please wash your lettuce. Even if you buy lettuce that says it's been washed, wash it again. Or it, if you don't believe me, look up a YouTube video after they wash that pre-washed lettuce and there's still... I found one the other day where there was bugs in it. It was dirty. Wash your eyes, people. Kyle's PSA. My, my public uh, health service announcement or whatever. He was a farmer, so he understands. Like, he's got a little bit of knowledge to back that well, up. Well, I mean, I watched that no. video. And I I'm don't like, know what you're talking about. I'm building up my immune system. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Michelle says, I ate Westgate <laughs> pizza. Oh. Heather said, the bassoon has seen a bassoon docking oh, wow. food truck. That'd be pretty cool. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Jarhead and Ginger Journey said, we hope to Alaska 2023. Jay says, You know I'm trying to fit meat in this as much as I can. You are, because you're just. I'm trying to fit my meat in as much as I can. Well, you. I'm done. That's all right. All right. Anyway, this is a romaine. Uh, some people. I don't know why, but they like lettuce on their bowls and their burritos. So yeah, like normal people. I have to provide that. Just because oh, yeah. you don't eat it doesn't mean we can't. Jay says looks great. Kimberly says medium rare. I'm a, I'm a medium guy. I, I don't like it bloody. I mean, there's certain cuts I'll do medium rare, but typically I'm a medium. Guy. Yeah, I'm actually medium. Yeah. If we're sharing steak, we're doing medium. Yeah, rare. I, mean, I will eat it. You know, especially if it's a really good, high quality cut. Um, thing I like about this is made by Oxo. You, yeah, you can wash it right here. It really makes it easy. Yeah, Michelle McCarthy says I like it medium. Cat H says she wants hers mooing. <laughs> Davina says hi Kyle and Jen and Molly looks good. Kyle, I wish I could try it, but I can't have spicy stuff because I have a hiatal hernia. Well, this isn't spicy because my crew doesn't eat spicy, so you can definitely have it. Deborah says, well done. Today we go says, well done, almost charcoal. Jarhead likes medium rare and ginger likes charcoal. Isn't it funny? Thing? Okay, I got to say, watch. This salad spinner has a break. Oh, so my God. Cool. I thought that was so cool the first time I did that. I was like, that is pretty cool. Yeah, show them what's in the bowl. Oh, I mean, this one, it's not bad. I want, you know, there is a bug. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know. It looks, oh, like, it looks just like a gnat. Oh. But I mean, this wasn't pre washed. It was organic lettuce, though. But still, that's I should say, make sure you wash your lettuce, guys. Or any, you know, for that matter, any of your produce. Um, Heather says, I asked for my meat. Very well done. But I love that shaker because, I mean, it is light. It, it really works good. Definitely, definitely like it. 
Karen Marr says that could be a t-shirt for you guys. Smack the meat. Time to eat. <laughs> If you don't have to peel it, wash it. Which you should always wash it no matter what. Especially when you're handling meat. We don't wash them yet. Oh, Michelle McCarthy says when you wash lettuce, you have to be gentle. You do. Venturesome couple says medium for us too. Honey, I don't see something. Oh nope. yeah, I do. <laughs> I've been buying this stuff. It's uh Mexican sour cream. It's crema. So it's what oh, you no. show them the thing so they know what they're looking I, for. I just started seeing this in, in Florida. I haven't seen it anywhere else. So the maybe, difference is it's way juicier. Than yeah, it's, it's just a, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it's made differently or something's different about it. But, yeah, it's like it's just a, um, a juicier texture, a watery texture. Right. So we're doing bowl. Are we doing bowl? Who's, who am I making for? Me. me. But you don't get everything. You get everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rosie says, I always wash my pre washed lettuce. Yeah, absolutely. I, I did see, I did not till fairly recently. Um, Until I'm, you got your salad spinner. Well, I, that was actually my motivation for getting my salad spinners. I watched a video on it and they're like, and they, this, she did it. Like she showed, she showed it pulling out of the bag and she, and she did the whole spinning thing and then she showed the water and it was, it was pretty nasty. So at that point, I was like, well, maybe there's something to this. Are you chopping your meat now? Yeah, I'm just going to make one for them. I can move this. That's in the way. I um, I mean, I, this cut of meat, but I still I still like to cut against the grain. So cut against the grain. I typically cut. See, this is actually, yeah, it's probably medium-ish. Ooh. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, that good. It looks delightful, babe. Who am uh, I making this for? I was a kid. Um, so I'm going to dice it a little more. Me, I might not go. I might keep it a little bigger chunk. But with the kids, I cut it up a little bit more. That's the last that I don't matter business. All right. Assemble. Oh, wow. Start with our rice. This is Eli's bowl. I love rice. Eli likes rice, so I'm going to give him a good helping of rice. Eli loves rice. I typically come in with my meat. <laughs> well, you know. There's that. Mm, Molly's laid on her side. All right. Go with the cheese next. You give it me. Obviously, you can assemble however you want. This is how I do it. Probably not the right way, but it's the way I do it. How would you pull it? They do rice first, and then they do. Of course, you know. <laughs> and they do, then they do their beans and their protein, and then they do their lettuce, pico, and then they do their rice. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, and then they do their rice. Yeah, and then they do their rice. Yeah, and then they do their rice. Yeah, and we got our meat, we got our lettuce. What are we gonna go with? Let's go with some, yeah, let's go with some lettuce. A little more lettuce. Is that good? You want more lettuce? Good, 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 good. Okay. Some guacamole. That's Eli's jam right there. He loves guacamole. 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 Uh Michelle McCarthy says there are some really nice homes down the street from you. I love all the farmlands. Yeah, there's some massive homes uh, a couple miles from. Cat H that I've seen crema at the grocery store. Davina says, I love that Mickey magnet on your fridge. Simply. Oh, there you go, Eli. Ooh. Ooh. All right, we gotta take a bite of it. Oh. You like testing? You are gonna test. All right, turn around to the camera so everybody can see you test it. You can stand up. You like come stand up. All right. It's probably hot. Careful, it's hot. A little warm. Warm. warm but that's how i do it guys i mean it's i i um you can make it as simple or as you know as complex as you want um i've got where i used steak a lot i used Guacamole. to use i used to like yeah. use chicken thighs a lot yeah. hell yeah i like it oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> inside joke 
So. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me to show up and watch me do my thing. Um, I'm sure there's better ways to do it, but this is the way I do it. Um, happy Thanksgiving to you, wherever you are, wherever you may be. If you don't celebrate, we'll be live, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna do a Thanksgiving live um, in the kitchen. I don't know if it'll be breakfast, but I'll be prepping food, so we'll get we'll work that out probably the next day or so. Um, we'll be here. I've got a bunch of a bunch of uh, sides that I need to make, but thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving stay to you, wherever wonderful. you may be. Absolutely, stay wonderful, and I love you guys. Thanks to our mods. Guacamole. Yep, thanks to our mods, and we'll see you guys next week. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Stay wonderful. Bye. Guacamole. Woo! Walk